Hey everyone, I thought I would do a, uh, I guess a more personal one, um, this episode. I, uh, want to do kind of on my own health journey because, uh, it's been a big part of, um, you know, the reason why I actually started this podcast, why I write, um, why I wrote the book, um, explains a lot. Um, so I guess starting from the beginning, um, kind of early on, I, I, I think I did have some health issues. Um, you know, early on, I, I've always had like a sensitive, been sensitive, like, I guess overall, like, um, but especially, um, the foods, I used to have digestive issues, bad stomach aches. Um, later on this developed into kind of, um, um, later on this developed into kind of skin issues when I was about a teenager, uh, about 16 or so, I started getting pretty bad eczema. I'd have to like put lotion on my hands a lot, um, cover them up, especially during winter time. Um, you know, I also developed kind of severe depression, which I kind of have a family history of, um, was able to get through that mostly with, um, medication at the time. Um, didn't really do much counseling. I did, um, kind of at the time I was doing martial arts and kind of got into kind of spirituality, um, which is kind of like, um, what kind of got me into it at first, uh, later on, um, I think it's, it was due to kind of a number of things. Um, it was kind of a stressful period during my life, um, when I was 21. Um, there was just a lot going on. I think, um, just, uh, maybe, um, I don't know, kind of some personal stuff, also some business stuff. I was doing kind of Amway and I didn't, um, wasn't really doing well and I remember getting really sick and then after that I kind of recovered but then um it was I remember being it like really bad I uh then started getting like a lot of fatigue and brain fog and TMJ issues and I um remember it very early on um although my my memory is a bit fuzzy um basically sleeping a lot. <laughs> I would, uh, go to work, uh, come home, just sleep a lot. Um, and it was like almost like narcolepsy <laughs> for a while. Um, and so I didn't really know what was going on for a while. It was, um, kind of, uh, kind of intense. Uh, it's still kind of, it's still kind of an issue. Um, so I, I didn't really have health coverage for a while, health insurance really for a while. I, um, then I, I believe it's with kind of Obamacare. I actually got some uh, health care. I uh, was able to go to a few doctors. Um, and to be honest, I kind of, um, it kind of changed my view. It's changed kind of my perception a lot, especially dealing with kind of mainstream doctors and why uh, over time really got into alternative health. Um, I just uh, was really frustrated with the system. I, uh, I got like a CPAP, which, you know, helped some, I, uh, got t some testosterone, which, you know, being in my early twenties, like, I think maybe I was 23, 24, I'm trying to think of the timeline exactly. Um, and that helped some, um, uh, it didn't help kind of the work environment I was in. Uh, they didn't know why I was, um, just so out of it and so tired all the time. Um, they somehow assumed that it was drugs or something. So, um, Eventually, I did get out of there. Um, I did try for disability. Um, I was hospitalized. I think, um, you know, it started off as really bad anxiety. I don't want to go into a lot of it, but um, over the years, I my body is just really responds um, kind of in a both a positive and negative way to kind of herbal antibiotics and antivirals. Um, I actually took some cat's claw, uh, not a huge amount, but, a, uh, like the max dosage instead of starting out with minimum. Um, and it's a powerful antiviral and antibacterial, and it's often used to treat Lyme and co-infections. I think that really triggered something, um, you know, like a bad Herx reaction and anxiety. Um, there are some compounds in kind of cat's claw that are similar to some antidepressants, but I think, um, you know, really there was more to it. Um, and so over the years I've kind of, I've been to different doctors. I've been to a lot of the kind of mainstream doctors. I've started to approach more and more, especially lately, um, uh, alternative, you know, I, uh, 
I uh, took antibiotics for a while. My body really responded there. I felt like my body was on fire. I felt um, I was kind of like in the Herx kind of thing. Um, I do think it was kind of improving things. Um, so I'm trying to see, you know, what, what next to do because I, uh, you know, I've tried a lot of kind of conventional medicines. I've tried a lot of psychiatric medicines. Um, I am, um, you know, I do... I do take some supplements. I do, uh, a lot of it is detox as of late. I, um, I was getting ozone for a while. You know, I'm getting acupuncture and a few other things. Um, but biohacking and a lot of other stuff as well too. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, maybe I may try either prescription, um, or maybe even herbal kind of antibiotics and antivirals because I think, um, over time, especially there's been a lot of indications and I think it's, um, true for a lot of people is that kind of stealth pathogens and, um, like Lyme and co-infections, uh, parasites, um, you know, and even, um, you know, retrovirals like, um, a retrovirus is, uh, like, uh, Epstein-Barr and its variants cause there's about a dozen or more, uh, that I'm aware of. Um, but I think there's a lot more to it. You know, there's, there's methylation, uh, kind of genetic snips or, or um, I guess defects for lack of a better term there's you know there's toxins there's heavy metals there's um because uh, some people I think they uh, it just kind of builds up over time and it kind of just it just um, overloads your system and then over time and you really have to work on this you really have to come at it kind of at a kind of at a, a lot of different angles a lot of different perspectives um you know, um, so I'm trying to, uh, figure out what next to do. Um, you really have to advocate for yourself. You have to really like look into it. You have to try a lot of different things. Um, plant medicine has kind of helped me some. I've just been kind of easing into it. I don't want to like take it like huge dose. Um, you know, um, I've tried a lot of different things. You know, I, there was a period where I used cannabis, um, quite a bit. I, I don't think it's really helpful as much. I don't really, um, use like edibles or RSO or anything, but I do think it kind of, um, it does help kind of with, you know, mood, some neuroplastic, plastic, sissy, plastic, sissy. <laughs> I can't even say that word. <laughs> um, and, um, kind of like brain and kind of neurological health as well too. You know, I've tried, also did TMS. I think that helps some, um, so yeah, uh, you know, I'm still at it. I, uh, I hope that, um, you know, as my health improves, I'm able to help not only myself, but you know, others more. I really, uh, that's why I kind of got into writing a lot of my writing and even, um, videos as of late. And, uh, even this podcast, it's very more, um, health oriented. I have written about other stuff. I used to kind of stream video games. Some, I, I don't even play, I haven't even really gamed or played video games that much that lately um i have been caught catching up on shows though um but yeah i hope uh hope this kind of helps give some pers- perspective um i did kind of touch on this when i was on a uh, another podcast recently um actually about a few months ago actually in september but um i wanted to kind of touch on it more kind of give my perspective i uh I want to work on this podcast more. I may have some more time in the future. I don't know. Depends on what happens with my job. I'm not really sure um, what's happening there, (laughs) but that's another story. Uh, Anyways, uh, this is kind of my my own personal health journey, a story kind of um, where I'm coming from, what I've kind of tried and been. So, um, you know, I do want to, I have several different ideas. I, I haven't had a guest on lately. It's just been tricky with working and working on this on the side some. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, you know, I'm still struggling quite a bit in some areas, you know, the brain fog and fatigue are kind of persistent. The TMJ is as well too. Um, sleep has been kind of off and on an issue as well too. I, uh, it takes me a long time to fall asleep or stay asleep and um 
Sami has been kind of a bitch lately. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm coming from. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you uh, like it, please follow me. Um, follow me, like it. I'll probably upload it to Spotify, YouTube, um, a few other platforms. But um, like it, review it, you know, share it, tell other people. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll, I'll see you guys next time.